still in my intro with a burp. But for those of you who have any sort of familiarity with the way our week goes on this playlist, we're the SmackDown Rundown. But it's kind of a, like a weird thing to, for me to mention that's how the week goes. Because SmackDown was on Tuesday this week. Which will be kind of weird because they actually reference stuff that happened on Wednesday on this episode. So, I mean... Did they really? Yeah. Because this is before the boot camp match Fucking that time Dean travel. Ambrose actually mentions. Tribute to the troops that pre-recorded. No. Wow. This is the SmackDown Rundown. You ready, Thomas? Yep. Give it. Good job. Whee! Well, the other way. I that. feel like one intro, we need to... J- you just need to hold up the right down and smack it. We need to not say anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's so just, SmackDown run knows just that. You can't even think it has done. Yeah. yeah. So Super SmackDown Live. This the is the 800th episode. Yeah. Awesome coincidence really there. Neat. Uh, so we had. I don't think there's any coincidence. Well, actually. Maybe. Um. We had the return to the ring of Roman Reigns. This is his... Top uh, Roman Reigns. His first match back. He's going against Fandango. We initially thought, well, this is going to be real short. I thought it was going to be like a two-second squash match, spear, done. But it wasn't. Like, Fandango actually got some offense on, which is good because, granted, you want to make Roman Reigns looking strong because he is one of your top players. Yeah. But you also don't want him to completely crush a guy that's to new and improved. So we had a decent, we had a we had a pretty good match between these two. Fandango hold, you know, held his own for a while, but ultimately they do have Roman Reigns going into the Royal Rumble. So Roman Reigns picks up the win over Fandango. Go figure. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm glad Fandango got more than just the yeah the two move squash match. It treatment. was nice. Uh, then we had uh, Dean Ambrose come out and talk about how you know he he loved. Every second of the TLC match, and, and he's saying that the fight is going to continue at Tribute to the Troops, which would be the next night on Wednesday. Uh, you know, he just he, he enjoyed all the melee and all the craziness. Uh, Bray Wyatt would actually come up on the Tron and say uh, that Ambrose, Ambrose doesn't get the only reason he's breathing is that Bray Wyatt allowed him to leave TLC, and that the fight doesn't end until he watches it all burn down. So Inferno match. So Ambrose was like, okay, and he set the ring on fire and then walked away. And said, it's what done. else? So, I, so does that mean Dean Ambrose wins? Yep. Yeah. He wins a life. You don't challenge a guy like Dean Ambrose like that. Fair enough. Because so, he'll just burn him into the ground. Fuck it. Yeah. So he, on fire he had a torch with him. All right. Safety torch. So up next we had we had the uh, the tag team feud and the singles feud treatment. Where the singles guys get paired up with the tag teams. We had Rowan teaming up with the yeah. Usos and Harper with the Moneymakers. At this point, they're just trying to make Rowan into Sheamus, I think. <laughs> uh-huh. Pretty much. Feuding with Big Show, teaming with the Usos. He's, he's anti Sheamus, that's all he is. Um, Upside down Sheamus. We Great. had. Th- this was a really. This was a really fun match because, you know, we. We had a lot of good spots, a lot of good wrestling throughout, but the fun started to happen when Danny and Mizdow started to imitate uh, Luke Harper. Yeah. And Miz is looking at him like, what the fuck are you doing? And then Luke Harper got out of the ring and said, what the fuck are you doing? And then Miz is like, get back in the ring, you're going to get counted out. <laughs> yeah. And it was just, it was like, what? Why, you're, you're not supposed to imitate him. You're supposed to be imitating me. And like you're not supposed to be imitating him. You're supposed to be imitating me. And yeah. <laughs> Luke's just like, hey. And so yeah, and then, and then Miz, the Moose shows up because that's a Moose call. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah. So Miz, Miz gets him back in the ring. Uh, Usos and Rowan win when they do a double super kick onto. Was it Miz? I don't even remember this match. Who, whoever was, got the double super kick, and Rowan was on the apron. Oh, Rowan did the super fly splash. He did the super fly splash. I want the Usos were like, go on. Okay, so I know it's the the, the splash the Usos thing. I want Rowan to keep that in his move pool though. I agree. Like a guy that big doing a splash, that's gonna end the match. <laughs> yeah. 
No, yeah. I, it, it, it was impressive. And he did it really well. He landed, yeah. he landed it pretty damn well. So the faces get the win. Uh, yeah, just it was a fun match. Like I, I, I enjoyed it. You know, it was didn't really extend anyone's stories other than maybe the Usos and the Moneymakers. Uh, which moving on, we'd have Jimmy uh, meet up with Naomi. Naomi's getting ready for her title match against Nikki, and Jimmy says, "Hey, you know, you know, I'm I'm so I'm so excited. You know, you're gonna be getting this, you're gonna be getting this title match, and you know, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be out there, I'm gonna be out there supporting you." And she goes, "No, I I actually want you." To stay back here, I want to yeah. do this on my own. And Which, I thought that's different than every other other time. How? Yeah. Also, like he didn't say he was gonna help. He was just gonna go out there. Yeah. You're just gonna he, be supportive. You're gonna do it on your own. But he's like, whatever. But yeah, he, he's like. Yeah, that he, was my theory, though. Is like all of a sudden, <laughs> I start, I start getting pissed at him actually yeah. with this promo because all of a sudden now she's getting a title match. He wants to go out and like be in her corner. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how about all the other hundred matches she's had? Like, yeah, it's... Yeah, so, where know, have you been? You know, he, he, he You're too busy painting your face up. He eventually agrees. He's like, all right, I'll stay back here, but as soon as you win... She didn't know, have to fight him that well, hard you're, either. You're going to be the Divas champion. Little we'll known fact, we'll he does the face painting for both of the Usos. That's why he's so busy. He has to paint his face and then his brother's face. Mm-hmm. He's got to make sure they match. And it's, it's a whole thing. All right. Uh, then we had what was supposed to be Ryback versus Rollins. Spoiler alert, it wasn't. Uh, Rollins is in the ring with JJ Security. Ryback's on his way. He's doing his whole entrance. Very, uh, very uh, Wake up. It's me. Fuck! <laughs> and then he gets run over by Rusev. Uh, Literally. Yeah. And gets, you know, gets tossed off the stage. We get kicked off the stage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then kicked over uh, one of the little... Crates that yeah. the crew keeps their gear in. And then um, he disappears into so the abyss. That he's he the fell back. into the curtain. So, what happened with that? With the great and powerful Oz. Is, what we don't know is Rusev. Kevin Nash was visiting. Actually, has a second job as a Chinese food delivery man. <laughs> yeah, where's this going, Thomas? Uh, this is an so, elaborate story that I'm ready for. Of course you are. <laughs> so, Rusev. Or not Rusev. Right back. It's like, feed me more. So he ordered some food. Mm-hmm. And, like, it was late, so Rusev was hurrying to get to him. But he forgot the food. So he just beat him down to make it seem intentional. Come out, bitch slap. <laughs> yeah. That was kind of anticlimactic. Well, yeah, so, he, so that's the thing. He's running to deliver the food, and he's like, fuck! <laughs> so he's just like, Rrr. I also happen to not like you, so... It just so happens, I forgot your food and I don't like you. You happen to order order Szechuan spin kick and shit. Anyway. I decided to deep fried <laughs> okay. kick but rolls. The problem with that is that now Rusev didn't get a tip. So. No. Nobody gave his tip to Lana later that night. What what other thing is I think it's funny is during this Ryback Rusev feud that we've been seeing so far, the way Rusev exits after any kind of altercation with Ryback is while holding up the United States title. Yes, well, it, it, it's not he doesn't have angry flag waving. He's just got the U.S. But I mean, just that's how he exits. It's just holding it up and like walking away backwards. <laughs> like that's his thing. Sorry. It's the Rusev equivalent of dropping the mic and walking away. Ah, uh, Putin bomb. Yeah. Just like. All right. If I use uh, those two words together, is that like a declaration of war? Uh, yeah, it should, might be. Probably. I'm sorry. Well, no, be. you're just you're declaring war, but like how a lot is like Rusev crush. You're like Putin bomb. Oh, I'm declaring <laughs> war onto America from the Russians. Or just whoever, because right. you didn't specify. That's true. So Putin's like, okay, who did I bomb? Afghanistan. Hey, I bombed a parking lot. <laughs> oh shit, no, that was us. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap, that's a subtract button. Why do we have this button? Can we continue with SmackDown now? Nope. I thought we were. No. I thought this was all part of SmackDown. <laughs> no. It's not in my notes. Well, you're taking shit notes then. <laughs> no, I'm taking good notes. I have an entire... 
Okay, but ball here. the SmackDown that I'm talking about is way better. That's true. It's like the Team <laughs> America World Police SmackDown. I still haven't seen that movie. Me either, actually. I, d- I d- Toy I d- Story on crack is what I call I it. I don't have. I've seen bits of it. I don't have an urge to see it. Like I love the soundtrack. I'll listen to the soundtrack. But America, fuck oh, yeah. yeah! Coming again to save the motherfucking day, yeah. Yeah. Can we, can, can we continue with no? I'm not done talking about a movie I haven't seen. <laughs> That's a bad argument. I don't give a fuck. So where's the blooper reel? <laughs> just the segment right there. Uh, so now that Ryback's oh, taken out, uh, Rollins starts gloating about orchestrating the uh, the attacks on Cena and Jericho Monday night, uh, mm. and how he beat John Cena valiantly in the cage match. Interesting. Um, it was very valiant. And that uh, he he deserves the night off. Well, Dolph Ziggler comes out and says, "Well, you know, you know, you're you're out here, you know, you're, you do all this complaining about no authority. Well, the reason the authority isn't around is because I beat you at Survivor Series." That's like a twofer shot, by yeah, the way. Yeah, exactly. Is that not only did I beat you, but I'm the reason that you come out here and bitch all the time because yeah. I got. I wish you would have said it in those words exactly, though. Would have been great. I'm the reason why you come out and bitch all the time. So he goes, well, since you know, since Ryback isn't gonna be your opponent, and since you don't seem to have a match, I don't have one either. So why don't you face me? And Rollins accepts, and we get our our main event for the, the evening. Slightly later. And up next, you guys want to talk about the new vignette for the Ascension, which is just them saying something different? Uh, they're ascending into the Road Warriors. They're the Legion of Demolition. And then we had Nikki Bella taking on Naomi, defending the Divas Championship. This is a pretty good uh, match. It was a great match. and I, like, I stand corrected. <laughs> <laughs> this was, like, you know, we, we had the setup from earlier where Jimmy wasn't supposed to come out. But then we also have, we, we also have, you know, Miz trying to, I don't know if he's just trying to get in Jimmy's head or if he actually likes Naomi at this he's point. He's trying to get in Jimmy's pants. That's weird. He's, doing, he's going about that in a very strange way because he keeps well, going he's, after Naomi. He's trying to get close to Naomi first. And then he's going to like, Naomi... I need some advice. There's this guy I really like. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's how this whole storyline is going to go. So, yeah. The the girls are having a great match. And Miz does going to take his beard off and it's going to be the bunny. Miz makes his way down to the ring and start, starts cheering on Naomi. He's like, he's like in her corner. I thought it was weird, but at the same time, because from earlier in the show, I was pissed off at Jimmy. I felt kind of self-righteous for the Miz. <laughs> I was like, you're damn right. You deserve to be here because you got her this title match. <laughs> Wait, you were in the Miz's corner at, at one point in the show? What's for wrong probably you? the only time ever, except for the his very first SmackDown. The Miz's very first SmackDown was here in Portland. Huh. Oh, yeah. I remember that. And he came, to, he came down from the Roman Reigns entranceway. Yeah. And uh, started doing his hoorah. And I was like a friggin' copycat. And yeah. started doing that with him. Yeah, same. Uh, but Miz's involvement would bring Jimmy down, and he would attack the Miz, which would distract Naomi, which would allow Nikki <laughs> to get the win, and Jimmy realizes, oh shit, I fucked up. Naomi's pissed. She's, She's giving, giving him death, death eyes. Serial. Yeah. <laughs> Like, Serial death and like, eyes. Like, Jimmy had this look on his face. Like, he's up at the top of the ramp. He's looking down like, she, is she giving me death No, no. No, she's, she's looking at me. No, she, she's getting close. Although, yeah, those are death eyes. Yeah, I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. It's like, literally like, you, I already got the blanket pillows on the couch. He's he's calculating how, how many more, how many days he's going to be spending on the couch. Because, yeah, he royally fucked up. But yeah, great match for the girls, though. I was Which is less exciting than royally rumbling. Sure. Then we had a, a rematch between Kane and Adam Rose, and I, I don't know why. But Adam Rose did have Jimmy Jacobs, Heidi Loveless, and Scarlett Bordeaux as Rosebuds. Also still had referee Brian Gorey. Yes, he did. And another indie wrestler named Action Jackson. Yeah. Uh, Kane, we get the win again. And this time he tombstoned the bunny and broke his ear. Motherfucker. 
JBL is really excited that the ear. Yeah, this is while the bunny is in the neck brace from getting two on a You roll. are a horrible person. I'm going to call PETA on you and Kane. Because Kane's a. Kane. I'm a member of PETA. People eating tasty animals. Um. But, you know, Kane's a. Kane's beating up innocent animals, and JBL's just. Endorsing it and cheering it on the whole time. It's fucked up. <laughs> well, Kane's from... at least a demon. <laughs> like, JBL's from Texas. That's close enough to a demon. <laughs> <laughs> Texas is probably the closest thing to hell where there is in America. Probably. Uh, let me get or a. Hopefully, we don't have any Texan fans. Uh, we we get... just assured that we don't. <laughs> Uh, we get... The Dust and Us, like, declared war on, like, Ho-Ho Hogan. Yeah. Dad, like, well, this, this weird... I'm with him. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not against him, but I just feel it's really fucking weird. Fuck that guy. Doesn't make any sense. Um, base. Then, uh, Renee asks Rollins about the beatdown on Jericho and Cena. Uh, Rollins says he, he's, he's, he's gonna make sure that Cena suffers until... The, the authority is brought back. He's he's going to make Raw and SmackDown just complete hell, even if it means having to work with Paul Heyman and, and Brock Lesnar. Let's see how well this works out for Seth Rollins. Yeah, probably. I'm voting not great. Uh, well, what's Seth Rollins going to do once they find a new permanent GM and he's trying this bullshit? Well, that that's the thing. is He doesn't want a permanent GM. I know he, he doesn't. He wants the authority back. I know he doesn't. But, like, once what the... What if they do? Like, what if John Laurinaitis steps in and like, oh, I'm going to be the permanent GM. And then Seth Rollins is all like, oh, I'm going to make it live in hell. And John Laurinaitis says, no. <laughs> I'm in charge right now. Quit yeah, being a little right. bitch. Guess what? You're fired. Yeah. Well. <laughs> and then we never see Seth Rollins again. Yep. That sucks. But then uh, Mr. Shield telling... Mr. Shield comes out wearing a mask. Oh, well, I was oh, going to say, God. Mattel... He goes to Lucha Underground because he, oh, he becomes Mr. Money in the Bank and it's a briefcase shaped <laughs> mask. Mr. De Niro in El Banco. <laughs> <laughs> Is that on SmackDown or in Lucha Underground? Because I, yes. I want both. <laughs> anyway, before Seth Rollins He's gets fired by John Laurinaitis, he was in the main event against Dolph Ziggler. These two busted ass. This match was awesome. It's not very often that you get an amazing match for a main event on SmackDown. And these two, you know, both being in the positions that they're in, were just fucking bringing it. We had great action back and forth. We still had JJ Security on the outside. Uh, but they would get ejected. Yeah. Too many interferences. Yeah, but they, they wouldn't be... They wouldn't be... They didn't make it to the back. Yeah, they weren't gone for very long because Ziggler ends up pi picking up the win. They fucking run back down to the ring, and he, like, spin moves around them both to escape the Yeah, ring. he, like, ducked under one and jumped over the other and got out of the way. Yeah. So, you know, we're, we, we end SmackDown with Rollins and JJ Security just, like, pissed off. And Dolph Ziggler's first ever one-on-one -on -one win against Seth Rollins. Yes, which I did not realize that he had never won a one-on-one -on -one confrontation, so... Good job. Oh, good job this time, Dolph. He's on a roll, man. Yeah. He wants her. Kaiser. Her. What? Onion. Dinner. Rock and? Winning streak. Oh. That's it for the smack. What the fuck? You threw me the hell off. I threw you off of what? A cliff? My game. A couch? My game. I just answered your fucking question. Your game? Stop it. Stop it. That's Smack it for the SmackDown Rundown. Uh, Batman Arkham Asylum. Be sure to go back through the playlist. We've got... Twisted Metal. This was a big week. Indie Metal News, we got... Solid. We had two parts for Indie News. Not Twisted only do we have solid. the results from two of the biggest indie shows that we've been talking about. I smell crossover. We've got Ring of Honor stuff that's coming up. We had a two-parter on the midweek wrap-up. A whole 20 minutes of NXT talk. Yeah. So, go back, check out the playlist. We've got a next talk. And then next week, the next episode, episode 28, we're going to have Streak Week. Kevin Hawk is picking a brand new person. Who should have been to the street, Kevin Hawk? You know? Just incredible. 
Maybe. Maybe yeah, just incredible. Thing. I'm the king of old school, Steve Carino. Uh, and we're changing indie news up a little bit. Um, yeah. I'm going to bring back uh, a little earlier than usual the five matches not to miss. And they're good ones. Yeah, these so, are good ones. For sure, it's going to miss. And we'll have all of our usual reviews and any news that we find interesting during the week. So be sure to check that out. Thanks for watching the Wrestling Rundown, episode 27. And like, favorite, and subscribe. We got all kinds of stuff down in the description. We got Twitters. We got Facebook. We got Tumblr. We got all kinds of stuff. Talk to us. I got squishy sting face. You should comment. Extendo comment. Sting Let's talk face. about wrestling, guys, because that's what we do here. I thought we ran wrestling down. That sounds like something bad. It, our name has like a negative connotation to it. Yeah, we should find because running one. something down is not a good thing. It's a double meaning. We'll see you next week. Watch things Wait, face grow.